Women of Reddit, what casual things do men do that unintentionally make you feel unsafe? Messaging me on social media slash dating sites, and telling me you've seen me at work or know where I work. Both myself and another coworker have had this happen and it never fails to be creepy. Especially when they go on in detail about how they've always found us extremely beautiful and such. I'm sure it's innocent and most of the time just a shy, awkward guy's way of trying to reach out, but just don't do this. Working nights in a bar area and getting asked things about my personal life, like do you live alone slash are you here alone? Oh, you're too pretty to be here this late at night etc. Still makes my skin crawl. Or the general cat calling. A list in order of things from least obvious slash easiest for men to do without thinking to most obvious. Compliments or suggestive comments in the form of jokes. Examples that have all happened at the workplace, which is male dominated for me. 1. The only three women in a large meeting were chatting together with one man, Matt, included. Another man comes up and says, oh, Matt, you're keeping all the women to yourself. 2. I was working particularly late, and one of the men on my floor walked by office, saw me in it, and comes in to say, oh, what are you still doing here? You shouldn't be here so late. And especially it is just you with us three guys, that's not good. And then laughs and leaves and I hear him say to other men nearby, guys, we are not alone. Let it be noted, that I actually like this co-worker, and until then, he's never made me uncomfortable 3. Well in a field like this yours, I'm sure every guy appreciates, having someone like you on the team. Which can be followed up with, yeah, I'm sure they're all about celebrating gender diversity now. Subtly possessive physical touch, a guy put his hand on my hip and his finger hooked into my belt loop, which made it, so I couldn't back away, as I was denying his attempts to kiss me, hand on the back of my neck instead of on my shoulder. Rowdy groups of guys shouting slash laughing, usually a little drunk, it always makes me wary, but what really puts me on edge, is if there are some members of the group who seem to have shifty eyes, or keep looking around, even though there is clearly plenty, to focus on right in front of them with their own friends being obnoxious. Small talk with questions inquiring what I do for work, where I work, whereabouts I live, how long I've been somewhere, how long I'll stay somewhere, and how many people do I know in the area. Obviously also asking if I have a boyfriend, etc. Hitting objects, banging fist on the table, etc. To express frustration or overexcitement. Stare slash keep glancing at me. Mail taxi or Uber drivers that drop me home at night, asking whether I live on my own, who I live with, are they home, do I have a boyfriend, etc. They could just be making conversation, but in the middle of the night I take no chances. Body blocking, especially when in a difference in opinion. I've had a few male friends who have loomed over me, or essentially positioned themselves between myself and a doorway, so that I couldn't leave a conversation in which we were disagreeing. It can be as innocent as me wanting to help bring some dishes to the kitchen as a guest and them insisting I don't need to, by blocking my path. It can feel very threatening and unsafe, even if I know it is unintentional. In the worst case of this, I was crashing at a, very platonic, friend's house after not being in a state, to drive after his party. He was trying to be a gentleman, and didn't want me to have to sleep on the couch, and was trying to get me to sleep in his bed and he would take the couch. That didn't make me feel comfortable, so I wasn't having any of it, but he kept sidestepping in the hallway, to prevent me from getting to the living room. Even grabbed my wrists, when I tried to dart past him. Now, I really truly was 100% confident, that I didn't actually have anything to fear from him. If I went in his bedroom, I knew that he would in fact sleep on the couch, but it was soon not okay for him to trap me in that damn hallway. He basically gave me the choice of either conceding or starting to punch slash kick him to try to get past him. If he was a stranger, I'd have no problem choosing the latter, but this is a good friend and now I'm going to seem like the hugely overreacting one if I escalate. He's just being a gentleman after all. So I finally gave in, and chose the former, he really did sleep on the couch, and left me alone. And I don't hang out with him anymore, nor would I go to one of his parties, because he made me feel extremely unsafe and that's not okay. Lightly honking their horn at me, when I'm walking, riding a bicycle, or driving my scooter. 
I automatically assume it's because they're warning me of something dangerous, but really they're just like oh you're a woman out in public, let me make it known that I'm looking at you. Man who adjust their belts and zip slash unzip their trousers in as conspicuous a manner as possible in front of me are disconcerting. Inevitably, the action is innocuous, and he's trying to alleviate any discomfort, but for one irrational second, I'm apprehensive I'm about to accosted by a penis and a salacious proposition. Why can't they do it discreetly with a little attention to decorum? I passed one man who jumped out of the bus, startled everyone at the bus stop, thrust his hand into his boxes and groaned. He then apologized at everyone's incredulous expressions, and one old Jamaican lady's reproach, and sauntered off on his merry way nonchalantly. <laughs> Insisting on walking me home after a first date. Yeah, I get that you want to be a gentleman and you think there might be a chance we go inside for some fun. But from my perspective, a dude I barely know, is trying to follow me home, after I told him I didn't want him to- <laughs> When men twice my size stare at me as I go past. Now I don't mean just casually look, I mean full on staring into my soul for a solid 5 minutes. Now, it would be understandable if I wore skimpy clothing, but every day I wear jeans and a hoodie with the face of a 12 year old. Getting instantly angry when I don't want to do something or don't agree with them on something. I don't necessarily mean like a yelling threatening type of angry because that would be obvious, but suddenly changing from normal to staring me down into my soul, tensing up, gritting teeth and using an annoyed but also stern and angry tone in a second, even if it's over something small. It makes me think you're pretending to be normal and if we were left alone together you'd switch up and turn out to be a psychopath. I'm a man, but damn I hate walking behind a woman especially at night. I'm sure they feel unsafe, but there is no way to avoid it. I have the same way and I feel like, if I start talking they feel even more unsafe, but actually I just want them to feel safe and maybe even go together, so she doesn't have to be scared. I really hate it, especially because I always go with my friends to their home, because I don't want them to go alone at night. Mostly the staring. If I don't notice I can still feel the eyes on me, it makes my skin crawl and gets me uneasy. If I'm touched anywhere lower than my shoulders I will immediately try and leave. I'm not a touchy touchy person with strangers. When a guy puts his hand on my knee slash knee pit, if I don't know him very well, I automatically think he will try to feel me up. This is based on an unfortunate incident I had during a very long plane ride and the passenger I was seated next to and some weird situations I have had at crowded bars. Almost always happens when I go get gas and there's a guy outside the store or near the gas pump and tries to ask me a question. Usually something personal. He'll mumble an answer and try to appear not interested in having a conversation and they'll continue to stare at me or ask more personal questions. The worst is when they are starting their conversation off with you look good or something along those lines which comes off creepy like I'm 20, you're 50, I'm gay, please leave me alone. Male customers that add you on social media. The place that I used to work had required your name tag to have your first and last name. After getting a couple of friend requests and messages with invitations to hang out, I went to my manager with this problem. He was extremely understanding and got all new name tags that only had our first name on it. Most of the friend requests were coming from sad dudes that were 20 years older than me. One of them literally went on a 30 minute rant to us about how women suck. We all got friend request from him that evening. Cat calling. Freaks me out, no matter what. Ask too many personal questions too soon into meeting. Ask for my number. Don't ask, just give. Stare. Don't stare directly at me. Around me, sure. At me. PLZ stop. Walk nearby at night or just stand around. Can be suspicious, but I realize I may be paranoid. Get off at same bus stop as me, after failing to properly engage me over a period of months, where I have shown no interest in you. Especially after you've been suspiciously checking your phone prior to this, and have never gotten off there before. Ask me where I live. If I'm alone in a store, and happen to see a man in the same aisle as me a few times, or if I catch him looking at me, I get uncomfortable and feel unsafe. 
There's always the thought of am I being followed? Is he going to follow me to my car and try to kidnap or attack me? Any situation where I'm alone and a man takes the time to talk to me or isolate me from other people around us, I feel a sense of panic. Not really the point of this thread, but I learned that as a guy way to make a girl feel more safe if you're walking with them is to place yourself between them and strangers slash traffic. I've done this with friends and they have actually called me out and said it's so nice and thoughtful and gotten comments like you are great boyfriend material, do this with my girlfriend and she shoves me back to the other side bc I'm blocking her son lol. Slowing down in your car or pulling over while looking at me or talking to me from your car. I assume you're going to kidnap me. Introducing themselves with giving an unasked for kiss on the hand or cheek as close to the mouth as possible. Touching me, even on the shoulder or my back gives me the shivers. Asking right of the bat, where exactly I live, how I get home, how late my shift ends, I'm a waitress slash bartender in a small town. Asking personal questions, commenting that I look like I like having sex a lot. Showing dominance by standing in the doorway, not letting me pass, pushing me in a corner, and saying it's a joke, and that I mustn't get upset about it. Oof this thread is full of really sensitive guys telling women they are being overly cautious or flat out rude. Try to remember that a lot of women have been attacked by men and I think all women personally know someone who has been attacked. This added with the experience that people will ask, did you lead him on? Did you fight back? What were you wearing? Makes a lot of women think they didn't do enough to prevent an attack. Instead of being upset that a woman misinterprets a question as a way to plan an attack, how about you become a part of the solution and call out your friends who make rape jokes slash cat call slash generally make women feel unsafe. I don't like it when strangers, especially men, try to talk to me when I'm walking down the street or when I'm on the bus. Don't engage in conversation while I'm minding my own business unless it's to tell me I dropped something. Don't ask me how I'm doing, don't whistle at me, or call me sexy, don't honk and don't stare for too long. I also feel unsafe when people touch me while having a casual conversation. I don't like physical touch unless I feel really close to that person or I've known them long enough to feel safe around them. Even touching my shoulder is a big no-no for me.